Imagine a picture so sharp and so vivid that the finest detail is etched clearly and unforgettably. That's why Kodak makes Kodachrome Film, the sharpest color slide film you can buy. As you can see, the sharper you want your memories, the more you need Kodachrome Film. Today, we document our world instantaneously with high resolution, clarity, and dynamic range. Yet, a growing number of photographers have chosen to revert to analog formats instead. Uh, what, do you, what do you love about film? Why do you shoot film? I shoot film because I like how it renders differently to digital photography. Um, Sounds a little cliche when I say it, when you hear it. Um, but yeah, it just looks a little bit different than digital. Um, that's why I like it. When you do have a film camera, people are more likely to give conversation to you. Like, what is that? Why you still shoot film or they still make film and then you start getting more questions and start getting to know that person that you actually even took a photo of too. You just, the instant gratification of taking a digital shot is nothing like shooting something and hoping the settings on your camera are right and the, the, the film that you chose is right and the lighting you chose is right and the way you pose them is right and they didn't blink and all of these. It's just, it makes it much more rewarding as a photographer. I think with digital technologies being so commonplace, uh, any opportunity we have to get away from screens and spend more time with something physical is good, and that's the importance of analog tech. Um, you just have to take a little bit more time, which has always been one of the special parts about film photography, slowing down, uh, making it more of an intentional act as opposed to the spray and pray techniques of digital and film photography. Analog formats are defined by their use of light-sensitive photographic emulsion in photochemistry. Many photographers find an elegance and simplicity in analog formats. True control over grain, contrast, and tonality we have lost to a world of instantaneous digital photography. A group of these passionate individuals can be found on the corner of 4th and F Street in downtown San Rafael, California. Uh, see what photo, we like to think we're one of the last real camera stores. Opened in 1947, see what photo has seen the rise and fall of the photo industry with its own eyes. Uh, we've been continually operating the whole time. We specialize in analog cameras, film cameras. We also sell digital cameras and everything. Uh, we provide a space to learn about photography and acquire gear. In the last 20 years, the analog film industry has shrunk exponentially. Hundreds of products have been discontinued, labs and retailers closed, and margins grown thinner and thinner year after year. Nevertheless, Seawood Photo is held strong in serving the analog community. It's crazy, yeah. I mean, essentially on this side of the Golden Gate Bridge, we're the, the only camera store. And yeah, it's wild, you know, Mike's camera, digital kind of, you know, current thing is they shut down. The last real camera store, as it's known. For many, photography is their voice, and digital just won't cut it. Film prices have seen a pretty steady increase over the past year or so. Um, we've seen this happen before. Uh, in the past, it was prices were going up due to lack of demand and the cost of production. Now, costs are going up because of an increase in demand and production costs. I don't know if it's actually dying. Because it comes down to the three, you know, shutter speed, ISO, aperture, and that's essentially all that's on a film camera, you know, with the digital cameras now, it's like, you just have so much stuff, so many buttons, you know, it's too much camera for some people. Looking back, I wish I learned on a film camera compared to a digital camera. Everybody has a camera. It's your phone, your digital camera that you carry with you, your GoPros, whatever it is. Everybody has a camera and it's all digital. And 
having something that's filmed makes all of that stuff obsolete, I think, because it's so special that you don't really have that anymore. I specialize in wet plate photography. Uh, it was originated in the 1800s on metal and glass, and I manage Seawood Photo. Photography has provided me lots of opportunities, uh, lots of purpose. I think that's the, the bigger thing, a way to kind of share my ideas and my vision and uh, definitely be part of a community. It's essentially what my life evolves around pretty much, um, day in and day out. I feel like the community is the biggest part and having um, accessibility, like Seawood Photo, being able to bounce ideas off these older people who were studio photographers, they had their own business. This whole era of film was such, was the only way of shooting back then. And so these people who only shot these, you know, who know the routine, who know this, and like those are people that you, that will help you in the long run. Oh, I would encourage anybody, uh, you know, if you're curious about photography at all, uh, seek out your local resources, you know, whether it's a, a locally owned camera store uh, where you can go in and talk to people, um, uh, you know, a workshop experience, uh, groups, classes, all that stuff. That's all stuff you can't uh, buy on Amazon or, you know, the internet. I, um, I haven't a lot of knowledge, but it's nothing like these old guys who are doing it. And I feel like I'm just like having someone to look up to, especially when you're starting out, is, um, is like, I feel like the only way to do it. Like, it's very difficult to just watch a YouTube video and like take a 35. You can take like a little disposable camera, shoot a disposable camera, and get, but you can't call yourself a film photographer until you've done it all.